Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will begin Shining in the Darkness in the Sega Genesis Classics Library. So let's get it started. Originally released in 1991. Uh, in Japan, the title was released as, I believe, Shining and the Darkness. Uh, but then it was retitled to Shining in the Darkness uh, for the North American <clears throat> release. I guess that just rolled off the tongue better. But anyway, let's go ahead and plug the cartridge in and get going. This was the first of the Shining games, uh, of course. And... All right, here we go. Well, hello there. Hello, sir. Let me get up. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, let's see. What files do I have? Uh, let's see. No. We'll just start a new one. Yep. We're going to seek an adventure. All right, we'll do slot one to record our exploits. Oh, that's all right, we gotta pick a name. <clears throat> Alrighty, so my go-to name has become uh, Hiro. Now, how I got to this name uh, is an intro. Well, no, it's not, nobody probably cares. But anyway, I'm gonna tell it anyway, uh, just so, because. <laughs> Anyway, so the the main character, so there's no default name, first of all. There's no default name. Second, the main character's uh, father in the game, his name is Mortred. Not to be confused with Mordred from King Arthur lore. Um, but anyway, so uh, back when I first play this and I thought, well, Mortred is close to Mordred. Uh, what about like an Arthur name? Well, you only have five characters, so I tried to work that into there. It nothing sounded good. I tried, you know, uh, Arthur, RT, uh, even RTO, Artis. All of them sounded dumb to me. So I thought, well, your your class, your character is a hero, but just naming him Hero, you know, H E R O, sounds dumb. And it's uh, well, it's a Japanese game, so we'll just give him kind of a Japanese-ish name, Hero. Uh, anyway, so that's how I came to that conclusion. No, like I said, no one cares, but uh, there you have it. <clears throat> there is no set name or default name like Shining Force uh, or Shining Force 2. I think even uh, most of the Shining Forces give the um, give the main character a default name. Anyway, yes, you knew it. Hiro, is it you? I was expecting you. Yes, you were, of course. Thing of, the Kingdom of Thornwood. Oh, that's right. There is something terrible going on. Um, plunge our word world. Wow, words are hard today. What are, who are we kidding? Words are always hard for me. Uh, this can be prevented. Yes, yes, I'm sure. It's all up to me. I am the son of Mortred. Yes. Come on. There we go. And a knight in the kingdom of Thornwood. I almost forgot. You've got two good friends. Milo Brax and Pyramist. Okay, that's good to know. The king awaits you. Please stop this way. Or step this way. Alright, here we go. This is the game. <coughs> uh, presented by Sega. Alrighty. Created by Climax. Blah, blah. Here's the... Uh, the credits, they decided to do it this way for some reason. Alright, this is the one I spoke of. Um, oh, and yeah, they have the uh, the person who's speaking. Yeah, it's just, it's interesting, the, the, the format of the game. You have this guy with shifty eyebrows. and Alright, Mortra's son and one of my finest knights. A fine name indeed. It's like, yeah, you have nothing else positive you can say about me, so you just compliment my name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, I wish to join the search for the princess. Okay, so before we get any further, why are we searching for the princess? So, this is where the manual comes in handy. I was going to switch screens to it, but we're not going to do that. I'm just going to tell it. So, in the manual, you, uh, you read this little excerpt. Um, and... The princess pleads to her father that she can go to the shrine and pray or pay respects or something. 
because um, it's like the anniversary of her mother's passing or something like that. Uh, anyway, her, her, you know, the queen, her mother, has passed, and she wants to go pay respects. The king agrees to let her go with Mortrid, his most trusted knight. Now, both of them are missing, and that's kind of the uh, exposition of the story. Anyway, this was your idea, wasn't it, Theos? <laughs> it's like, if this goes wrong, it's all on you, bro. Uh, yes, Majesty, as you know, Hero's father was with the princess, and he's been missing along with her. Hero feels that finding the princess will lead to his father. Thus, he came to me and offered his services. All right. Princess is believed to be somewhere in this realm. I only pray that she's safe. Tristan, what say you? With your permission, my liege, all of my knights. This lad is the youngest, but he is second only to his father when it comes to sword play. I see. Tristan vouches for you. There is no room for doubt. Okay. Bring back my daughter! She's just waiting. Okay, the minister. Uh, why doesn't the minister have a name? Take this gold. Thank you. Go away now. Alright, here's the overworld map. Um, let's see, we can't go to the labyrinth yet. Or my D-pad is broken. I think my, we can't go to the labyrinth yet. So, anyway. All right, here is the town. This is, uh, we're gonna get familiar with this. We've got the weapon shop, um, let's see. We've got the tavern. Let's go into the tavern. Enter. Okay, Old Vic. Um, princess should have been safe, or should have been, yeah, should have been safe with your father. There's some who blame him. Ah, uh, haters gonna hate. What does Mrs. Vic have to say? If he's the best knight, why do people hate him? Just ring the bell, okay. Alright, Lupo. Alright, that's fitting. March of the Brave. Gat. So, son of Mortred, my eye. Do you not believe that I'm his son? Oh, so he's just uh, an unpleasant individual. Norn? Gnorn? Is it Norn or Gnorn? <coughs> the creature! An ugly creature on the hill. Okay. Who's Die? I am a loyal knight and servant of Baron Varun. My lord is a gentleman, but he's not been himself lately. Okay. Edward! Okay, that's cool. Who's Dion? 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 Probably Dion. We like to come here in a while, uh, or bite to eat, but it seems like he has no appetite today. Okay, um, how do I get out of here? Do I just push B? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Armorer, we'll go there later. Alchemist, we'll go there later. Okay, a shrine. That's where we save our game. Okay, I believe that uh, we can we can do this one of two ways. We can either get with 200 gold, we can buy like a piece of armor and some herbs, or a sword. Let's just get a sword. Oh, by the way, um, Easter eggs, of course. We uh, this this guy. Uh, looks familiar, yeah. <clears throat> well, they've put Gilius Thunderhead in Shining in the Darkness. Uh, you can see the little, the little, uh, the little mana giving elf over here, and the little, the little mana pot from Golden Axe. So <clears throat> that was clever. Crazy to think that this game came out after Golden Axe one and two. It's like after Gilius retired from. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, fighting Death Adder, Death Bringer, and all those guys. Uh, he decided to open up a shop in the town of Thornwood. Okay, bye. Yep, um, we're just gonna buy a short sword. Right? I don't know, let me check, let me, let me check the, uh, 
I have my weapons um, thing here. Is it really that much better? Because this, I don't know, I, I kind of go back and forth when I play this. Um, so a bronze knife is plus 5, a short sword is plus 10. Yeah, let's get the short sword. Uh, no. Yes. Oh, that's the thing. Menuing here is kind of drives me batty because it's like, do you want to do this? Yes. Do you want to do something else? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. It's like there's a lot of. Uh, and then he goes, and then he goes crazy when you go into this like uh, cell menu. It's like I don't understand. I don't understand this at all. Why he does this? Uh, this is weird, and it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Not really, but... <laughs> okay, we're gonna sell the bronze knife. I don't think we'll need it. Um... No. And no. <clears throat> I, I kind of wonder if they just kind of slipped that in. Uh, it's like, hey guys, why don't we uh, make make him look kind of crazy when they're when they're shopping uh so anyway um we want to buy some herbs Um, yeah, we'll buy one more. Nope. Okay, so these will, these will do. Um, hopefully we're not gonna die. <clears throat> uh, death does come quite easily. Oh, that's right, we'll just push, you can just press B. Okay, back to the castle. Just a little bit of back and forth before we actually get to the labyrinth and start fighting. I've been waiting for you. All right, listen well to my words. First things first, you must find the whereabouts of the princess. She was last seen in the vicinity of the labyrinth. We haven't a clue whether she's there or not. Uh-oh. Hey, it's Dark Soul, our antagonist. Who are you? Excuse my somewhat sudden appearance. So polite for being a villain. I've come to rule your realm. No big deal. <clears throat> I just want to take your kingdom. That's a pretty reasonable request. Um. <laughs> I've got her safely tucked away. Oh, he takes such good prayer care of his prisoners. And then Tristan, of course, he's like, I'm gonna fight you right now. Uh. Interesting how he knows everyone's names. Now, excuse me, I'll be back when you're ready to leave. Okay. Well, that was super scary. By the blood of the ancients, Jessa held captive by that animal. Find the princess! Alright, what do these guys have to say? Uh, Theos. Hello. Dark Soul draws his power from the darkness. His enemy is light. He wields the power of light. My triumph. Okay, that's good. Find the princess. We're depending on you. What do you have to say, Byron? Hey, now! There's no reason to be ornery. My best men haven't found a clue. That's because they're not your best man. I'm your best man. Okay. Alrighty, I think if we go back in, the people say something different. Now, whether they say something useful or not, I don't, I don't know. Okay, nope. 
All right, let's go back to the town for a second. I think there's something in the tavern. Oops, not the armor, tavern. Some friends of yours were here looking for you a while ago. If you're smart, you'll avoid those two. They're nothing but trouble. Uh. Okay, so yeah, this is where we rest. Norn, Gnorn or Norn lost his job in the labyrinth. Okay. All right, and he's still breathing out threats through his drunkenness. What does Lupo have to say? Baron Varun comes from a fine family. He's quite ambitious. His ambition has resulted in the deaths of many men. Well, that's not good. They lost their parents. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's get down to business. Let's get into the labyrinth and get, get fighting stuff. Okay, so here is the labyrinth. Oh, we didn't want to do that. That's right. Whenever you uh, get to the labyrinth doors, it takes you outside of it. Okay, so this is the labyrinth. And we are going to get really familiar with these uh, with these enemies. Okay, first encounter of the day, of the game, we get ambushed. Oh, an awesome blow. Nice. <clears throat> And this is combat right here. We missed. Or they missed. Somebody missed. Okay. Alrighty, now the uh Oh crap, I don't remember where to go. Uh I need my map. Uh <laughs> All right, um, so this is, yep, this is the game. Anyway, uh, so we have to grind for a little while. Um, there we go. <clears throat> so these torches don't necessarily mean anything. <clears throat> Aha, cave slug. Uh, but there are various things in the labyrinth, like these torches, there are, um, puddles, what else is there around here? Um, there's, there's random items that kind of stand as, um, landmarks that, 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 that serve to help you if you get lost. Now, we forgot to do something very important, uh, like an idiot, I forgot to equip our, uh, short sword. Very important, you have to, um, yeah, you have to equip items every time you buy them. I think that's with most RPGs though, right? <laughs> that's nothing special about this one. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Uh, what, what game am I thinking of where you auto-equip the weapon? I think it's a shining game. Um, no, I can't remember. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm just being an idiot and forgetting to equip my weapon. That's what's going on. Nothing else. Okay, um, are we lost? Oh, no, we ran into a door. Okay. Uh, where am I? Hold on. Need to look at my map. So I just hit a door. Uh, I mean, I guess as long as we're fighting slimy oozes and cave slugs, and there's something, there's a, there's a third enemy as well that's around this beginning area that uh, is, is fine, it's around our level.
Why, why is, like, ooze, why are ooze characters, or ooze, uh, okay, yeah, here's the door. Okay. There we go. Anyway, why are ooze characters, or slime characters, so common at the beginning? Like, this, this, this takes you back to, yay, we're level two. <clears throat> to uh, like dragon quest, dragon warrior, whatever you want to call it, um, where you fight, you know, green slimes for an eternity before you go up the first level, or first couple of levels. <clears throat> Alrighty, so what are we even trying to do here, right? Well, we're, we're trying to kind of mix exploration with progress. Um, until we get to level eight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, go ahead and use an herb. There we go. Oh man. And there are some things, there are some treasure chests in the, in the maze here that we'll get to, but uh, it's more important to ensure that we survive. So as you can see, we don't have a huge hit point pool, as is normal with most, you know, RPGs. You start out weak. Um, and, uh... Okay, there's that. Don't want to go down there yet. Oh, and there's no map, uh, by the way. There's no map. Like, there's no mini-map, there's no, uh, there's no auto-mapping, there is nothing besides this. Uh, I forgot to mention that, if that hasn't become obvious already. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no menu, um, option that you can choose to look at the map. Now, there is a spell that one of our later party members gets, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but, but it gives you an idea of where you, like, it, it brings up the... It brings up the map in a in a window, and did this did the slimy use run away? I totally missed what happened there. Um, and I was looking at my map and just mashing C. Anyway, um, mm, oh, so yeah. Anyway, we have search and status that just brings up this. And spell... Hero doesn't have any spells. Yeah, so that's it. So, until we get that spell... Which honestly isn't 100% useful. Uh, it, it doesn't really give us all the information that we would like. It, it, there, it's, it's something, but it's not what we really want. Uh, anyway. Um, but that's not until later. Um, so, of course, what we had to do back in the day was get the uh, old uh, graph paper out and map it out and uh, that uh, that was how you made your map nowadays of course you can find maps for this uh, I'm sure everywhere on the internet but uh, oh no we're caught by surprise ah the pit worms I think these are the ones that give us more gold I can't remember uh, anyway Awesome blow. Right on. But uh, yeah, that's how we had to map it, because there was no other way to do it. Or, or memorize it if you were hardcore, right? I don't need no map. Uh, my map is... My brain's the map. Eh, whatever. Uh, although, I did know a certain individual who uh, had that capacity. I didn't know how. Uh, the This... This kid never mapped out a single game he played. He just remembered where he was going. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. Uh, and it's not like you could accuse anybody of, you know, going on the internet uh, back then and saying, No, you went on the internet. You looked up a map. Uh, no, there was none of that. <laughs> uh, and was there, was there an equivalent to... Nintendo Power for Sega? I don't remember if there was, but anyway, they, they, I don't know if they, they had maps, you know, unless you had a game with a manual 
that had a map, like uh, Fantasy Star, right? Uh, let's see, I think Fantasy Star 2 was the first one in that series that came with the, you know, with the map. Uh, so unless the maps were included in like the manual or uh, not the manual, but like in clue, bo in clue books that were sold with the game, then uh, yeah, you were on your own. Uh, okay. Um, where are we? Let's see. Let's try to get a treasure chest. All right, so here's the uh, the beginning. Let me look at my map so I know where to make the turns. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and hit up here. We'll go down the cor this corridor with Elko. Yeah, nice. We'll go down this corridor. Ouch. Okay. Um. Let's see. Then we'll turn right or left. We need to pass a puddle. Ooh, do we need to heal? I don't know. Probably. <clears throat> oh no! Probably should have healed. That's okay. At least they're only slimy oozes. If they were cave slugs or pit worms, we might be dead. But that's the thing. That's that's the one of the things about this game is you don't want to you know use up all your herbs. You don't want to use up all your your heal spells. So you try to take a risk and. Then you die. All right, we went up a level. All righty. So as you can see, this isn't as bad of a grind as most RG, most JRPGs of its time. Um, there is, you know, some of a somewhat of a grind, as you can see here. Um, I'll, I'll probably just play out all of the grinding and combat in the episodes just because it's not long, you know, the grinding's not long. Um, from level to level. Uh, let's see. I caught them by surprise. Hooray. I think we turn right here. There we go. Yeah, uh, oh wait, yeah, we, we turn right, okay. So I want to make sure. My map doesn't have anything at the end of that other corridor there. So we pass the puddle, as you can see, that's like kind of another landmark. Oh no, now I'm caught by surprise, oh dear. All right. <coughs> Hello. Alrighty, after we get our first treasure chest, we'll make our way back to town and save game and then call the episode. This has been a good, I think, introductory episode. Let's see. I think we go down the first one, yeah. Yeah, and then turn here and turn here. Search! And I discover an herb. Yeah, the uh, initial treasures, or the first, uh, I don't know, about half dozen treasure chests that you find, don't really give you, uh, oh, um, can I, f can I win this battle? I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> Because, uh, yeah, Dark Jelly hits a little harder than, um, everything else. And I don't know that I can... Okay, I was about to say, I don't know that I can one-shot him. But since we can... Ouch! Okay, we gotta take him down. Wow! Good thing we got that herb. Uh, okay, we're gonna turn back this way. Why are we fighting man apes and dark jellies already? I thought that was a little bit further on. 
Oh well. We didn't die, hooray. As long as they're slime users and not dark jellies. Well, we could have taken three dark jellies with 34 hit points. That would have been fine. Alrighty, get him, get him, get him. Alrighty. <clears throat> and as we can see, the uh, the, the RNG for mar monster encounters is quite un not only is it unpredictable um, but it's very frequent uh, so you know it's in the spirit of you know early JRPGs where you know there's encounters you know dungeon crawler style right dungeon crawlers encounters around every corner literally <clears throat> so Another reason why this game is very dangerous early on, and Slime 3 runs away, okay. Um, and as we can see as well, the music for both Combat and the Labyrinth is the same thing over and over and over again. Alright, I'm going to level 4. Four? Are we on level four now? Yeah, level four. That is fantastic. Um, let's see. Right, and then right again. We made it! Yay! Okay, we made it back to town. Alrighty, let's see our status. 29 out of 49. Um, we don't need to rest at the inn. <clears throat> we have 164 gold. We can just buy herbs. See, here's the thing. that To rest at the inn, you have to pay 10 gold. That would restore our HP to full. I kind of want to just go back to the labyrinth and grind until at the at the beginning of the entrance until we're kind of low. But we're at level four, so that's actually pretty good. Um, can we buy a gauntlet? Actually, I think I'll just save up for a leather gauntlet. Where's the armor? Let's go to the armor. Uh, I would like to buy armor, maybe. Uh, bronze armor? No, I don't want to see their, your deal. It's not armor. Helm. Oh, that's right. It's shields. It's shields. So, gauntlet is 120. Hmm, that would give us about 40 left, yeah. And then we could get um, a couple of herbs. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> Alright, equip our item. Go through every single one of them. That's right. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to the alchemist and buy a couple of herbs. One more for good measure. Oh yeah, let's buy an angel. Ah, we don't have enough. I was gonna say, let's buy an angel wing. Oh, the wisdom seeds. Um, I think wisdom seeds do a map reveal. I'm not gonna buy one. 
even though it's only eight gold. Uh, but uh, anyway, I think the wisdom seeds reveal the map, kind of like that one spell that I can't remember its name. All right, let's save our game. Wise were they who walked the path of the ancient, blah, blah, blah. I need 48 experience points. Yep. <clears throat> That's done. Do we continue? Nope, we're not going to continue. Not today. Alrighty, so that is our intro to Shining in the Darkness. And when we continue, we'll get to level 8 in our next episode. And hopefully, uh, our first uh, little mini boss fight. So, until our next episode. So long for now.